it's one of the important question in the interviews when we are applying as uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud uh, HCM technical consultant. Even if we say we are functional consultant and we have some knowledge on technical side and the data loading or data extractions or in BI reporting part. When it comes for HCM data loading, means when, when we say that it's data migration, HDL point of view. So they'll ask us like, uh, can you tell me what are the different keys we have in a HDL? So this four keys we will be working when we are working with the HCM data loader. We are going to see that. First one is GUID, Global Unique Identification Number. Whenever we create a record, it will not be generated manually. It's automatically generated by the system. We are not going to pass any value for this. The type is a hexadecimal. But whenever we want to update the record, whenever we want to update the record, then it will be used to uniquely identify the record across. Surrogate ID also is automatically generated by the system. Whenever we are going for update the record, it will be used. And it's a numeric. Source keys, obviously we are going to pass creating the record as well as when we try to update existing record. It's going to be alphanumeric. And user keys, obviously we are have to pass while working with this user while creating a record. Yeah. While updating the record also, we can see that. And it will be alphanumeric. It's not going to be generated automatically. It's supposed to pass the user keys here. Okay. So whenever we are updating the user, you can use surrogate IDs when updating objects. But the IDs may not be available in HCM Cloud users. By default, we will go ahead with the source keys. For example, when we are working with the object, as I said, we have source system owner as well as source system ID. We uniquely identify the record. So when we will be using this DUID and uh, surrogate ID is whenever we are working here, for example, let's say we are loading the job object as well as we are loading the position object. We are loading job object as well as we are loading position object. When we are trying to uh, load job object, let's say surrogate ID will be it as an Excel sheet for easy understanding. Let's say we are loading job object. Surrogate ID. Geograph global unique identification number, GID. Let's say this number is generating. When we are going for position, in same number can be generated. Whenever we are inserting the records. But GID will be unique across the across the records. There is no question of duplicate in GID, whether it is. Example, if we look at, we are loading job records now. When we are loading job records. We are we are getting some IDs here, sorry, get ID. Two, three, four, one, one, two, one, one, three, one, one, four. The same number can be generated for another object. The surrogate ID. But when we say global unique identification number, GID, we don't find the same number. It will be it will be unique across the object. So they may ask us in the interview, what is the difference between surrogate ID and what is the difference between surrogate ID and global unique GUID? What is the difference between these two? You have to say that surrogate ID is unique only for that object. This number may be repeated for other object. GUID is not repeated, it's unique across the objects, across the objects. Why these two IDs are generating when we are inserting a record? Because whenever 
whenever we are trying to load the data into the cloud environment, the system wants to recognize the record uniquely in future for updation or deletion. Then we will be identifying, we will be finding this uh, surrogate IDs as well as uh, GUIDs. Okay. And then of course, source keys we will be using as well as the user keys. These are the four objects, uh, four key types and the corresponding features we are going to find while working with HCM data load. Yeah, thank you. So the question is, uh, tell me about uh, the keys in HCM data load. What are different keys we will find? And will that create automatically? Okay, and uh, how about uh, surrogate ID and uh, GID, what is the difference here? 